Hello. Hello. This is a questionable decision. Not questionable because Kerbal is a bad game, but questionable because I I just don't I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna be posting this. Uh, just uh, this is a pure experiment. Um, see if people want it. Uh, you can consider this a pilot. Um, if there's call for it, I'll certainly do more. This will be a series I will absolutely have to do editing on, uh, which I am prepared to do if that's something that people would like. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is my entry into Kerbal. Um, well, I say entry. I've played this game before. I've played quite a lot of it. Um, and I would consider myself uh, moderate. Uh, definitely not an expert. Not, you know, like I'm about, you know, I'm about as good as at this game as I am at Caves of Cud. Let's put it that way. Um, but yeah, this is a this is an amazing game. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of it. Um, basically, Space Flight the game or a Space Flight Simulator. Uh, I do have for this series, I have some mods installed. I'll run through the list right now. Some of these are not, uh, they're periphery, I guess. Uh, docking port alignment indicator. Basically, like all all of these are quality of life, just to spoil the things a bit. But uh, we've got a docking port alignment indicator, editor extensions redux, environmental visual enhancements, that's to make it look nice. Um, filter extension, I don't think that's anything. Horizontal landing aid redux. Kerbal Engineer, of course, can't play the game really without Kerbal Engineer. Module Manager, Procedural Fairings, a Raster Prop Monitor, that's another peripheral one. Restock, uh, I believe that adds a couple of parts that are just basically mediaries between two other parts. Space Tux Library, I think that's another periphery. Uh, but Transfer Window Planner, that's like, you know, to do any any planning for like say a Duna or Eve mission, you gotta, you just gotta have to want that. You got, you need that, and that's it. Um, not not too many um, game changing ones at all. Um, just things that kind of make things a little bit easier on my end. I am not a rocket scientist, and I don't want to be. Um, I don't want to have to calculate my own delta v. So I'm sure you can understand that. Um, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So uh, I am going to be doing career mode. I'm sure, there, you know, this is one of those things that's going to be kind of divisive already is how do you feel about Kerbal career mode? I think it's, I feel like it's a little bit divisive because I know that some people like it and a lot of people don't like it. Um, I think most Kerbal Space Program series, oh, that's that uh, sound needs to go. Um, a little bit. Um, a lot of pe a lot of Kerbal Space Program series kind of basically just play in sandbox. Like um, if you've watched any before, I mean, I'm not a Scott Manley or a Robaz or anything like that. But you know, like, um, like it it's a lot of very ambitious projects. Like let's make a freaking Death Star or something like that. And uh, I'm not really on that level of you know. First of all, like. Creativity, it's its not something I, I put a lot of time into. I'd rather do, um, you know, some more, some of the missions that are sort of like basic missions, science gathering. Um, I really actually, something I really enjoy in this game is um, some of the satellite missions. Um, and just kind of like, you know, working through the tech tree and eventually doing some of the more complex stuff like um, creating bases uh, eventually, um, maybe doing man missions to things like Duna and Eve and some of the moons of Jewel. Um, this may be very boring for people. And it's one of the reasons I don't know if the series is going to work, but I figured rather than agonize over, will it work or won't it work? Will people like it or won't people like it? Why not just try it and see what people think, you know, because after all, if I'm having a good time, I'm hoping that that's enough for you to have a good time. So um, it's been a while since I played Kerbal. I have to refamiliarize myself. We're gonna probably want to go through here. Uh, I'm not sure we need any of these, to be honest. I, I seem to recall none of these are really necessary. Um, they're only necessary if basically you need one thing over another. We're probably gonna want to take some missions. 
Um, this is kind of like where the divide lies in career mode, I think, is that a lot of people don't like a lot of the missions. And I think that's because um, a lot of people don't know that you can kind of reject the missions that you don't like, and then the, the game will hand you more missions that you probably are more likely to want to take. Um, so let's let's do some... We're going to do our basic missions launch, our first vessel. We can... We can do the these easy ones first. We don't really have any tech. And I mean, like, the, the unfortunate thing about this pilot is this is, without a doubt, the most boring part of Kerbal is, is doing, like, these first, you know, couple of missions is, is a very, like, it's the same thing kind of over and over again. I have to also familiarize myself with all of the extra like tools and stuff. I have the um, the editor mod and I've never used it, but um, from the sounds of it, it sounded really good. Uh, it basically just makes it a little bit easier to, to build your vehicle, but you know, everything takes time to get used to. I don't know if this is what we want. All right, so you know, nothing, nothing too fancy. It's the first mission. Should be fine. I'm not even gonna name this. Uh, I did fit, find the uh, the probe, basically the uh, um, I guess robot module. Wait a minute, what? Jebediah, what are you doing in there? I thought this was a Je uh, Jebediah is in there. Okay. All right, buddy. Um, so you definitely want to do some science community. We could do an EVA report here. May as well do that. Can we transmit that? Not usable. Okay. EVA report. Um, no, we'll keep it for now. We can remove the helmet. Oh, that's fun. I didn't know we could do that. Remove neck ring. Huh. I wonder if those, uh, this is the problem with mods is, uh, I'm not sure if this is, uh, if those are mods or, oh, no, no. No, grab it. Climb board. Okay. I pressed the wrong button. I'm not sure if those are mods or if those are sock. Okay, so first mission. Probably not going to go super well. I'm, I'm a little worried that our parachute is not going to uh, cut it for the amount of weight that we have here. And we don't have any decoupler, so I can't shed the weight. We'll be, we'll be conquering that maybe someday. I'd like to do like maybe I'll maybe I'll do this series at least to me getting to the moon because that's more interesting than the you know the first little bit is going to be um you know I, I like honestly there's there's good arguments for me cutting out like the first hour of gameplay in Kerbal. Wow, we're getting quite up here, aren't we? Um, so I guess I could talk a little bit about, um, you know, my credentials, I, like how far have I made it in Kerbal? Um, I have made, like, I, I have built a space station. Um, I have built, I, I guess it's just a space station around Kerbal and the moon. Um, nothing too fancy. I did do a lot of satellite missions around Eve. I should be doing these mystery goos. Um, keep experiment. I should do the other one on the ground. We can do this one. Observe mystery goo. Is this going to be anything else? It's going to be the same, I think. Inoperable after. Uh, reset. Let's go ahead and reset. Um, I have done a lot of satellite missions. And, uh, you know, I guess at, at a certain point, I, I uh, the farthest I got was doing satellite missions around EVE. That was kind of the best I could do, and I was not really doing a great job there either. I've I've done the parachute. Let's see. I I think at the very well, well excuse me. Well, that's funny. How how what? Hmm. <laughs> let's uh let's revert that. I wonder why the parachute didn't work. Why didn't the parachute work? 
Save to deploy. Maybe it's because I was pointed towards the ground. I shouldn't have like flipped the thing like 30 times. Okay, let's do the goo here. And then we're gonna do EVA. We're gonna do a EVA report. Keep experiment. Um, go ahead and board. Let's launch the thing. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tilt it a little bit. So we can land in the, uh, the water. And then we have a better chance of surviving, I think. Why is that, uh, hmm. That parachute is not okay with what we're doing. I guess at a certain speed, it's not okay. That's a, that must, that might, might, might be something new. I haven't really experienced that before. Let's do our other goo. And we'll do our last goo in the water. Um, so yeah, I've done a lot of satellite missions. I haven't ever ba built a base on a surface because that gets kind of tricky. Um, landing your parts like close to something else is tricky. It's not something I have a lot of experience with. That's a type of parachute I don't think I've ever seen, but at least it deployed. These might be different parts. There's also like, there's been like basically an expansion or two since I played this game last, so. Um, I, yeah, I haven't done, I have done a manned mission to Duna. I don't think I've done a return mission from Duna. Um, I have obviously not built any bases on Duna, but, um, you know, <laughs> it's, uh, it gets, it's, it gets very complicated. Uh, I probably will be making use of the, uh, the chart that shows like required Delta V. Um, you know, I, I don't really, I don't want to have to like, um, do things trial by error because some of these missions can get like really lengthy and hence why I will have to for sure be doing editing on this series because you're not going to want to see this every single mission. I should honestly just like fast forward. Oh, okay. I won't do that then. Okay. So our parachute is deploying. Now I can fast forward. And we're, we're going to do one more science Bef like when we land in the water and that should give us enough science to at least get decouplers probably not liquid fuel yet nice okay observe the mystery goo keep that science and we could I think we could probably do an EVA here but we've already done an EVA so I don't actually think that that would like it would just like basically uh, overwrite our EVA already. Okay, recover vessel. I think we probably completed a few missions here, or at least the two missions that we had. So we got 34 science. We got quite a bit of money. Some reputation. That was good. Um, so we have a bunch of missions now. Orbit Kerbin is something we're going to want to do. We might consider doing some of these other ones. Um, these are missions that I think a lot of people dislike, and I, I myself included. Like, test, testing parts, I, I find really kind of tedious. Um, but something like this we could do. Like, do um, you want to test the parachute in flight over Kerbin? Um, so we have to do alt altitude 4,000 meters to 8,000 meters. So we could take that. That wouldn't be too bad because that's something we're going to have to do anyway. We could also test the decoupler. We have to be 7,000 meters to 11,000 meters. Hmm, that could be a bit tricky, but, you know, depending on how, what they, what they want. You know, how, how far was, I don't even know how far, high I got in the last mission, like how high did I get? But we have a decoupler and that's the good news. So what we can do is we can add a decoupler here. We have a, we don't just have a, like we have a price limit. Um, we also have a weight limit for like how heavy 
how big a ship we can make for our launch pad. I think this is a, one of those things that, that bothers people about career mode. Um, and I understand why, I truly do. Um, but I also kind of like constraints. I appreciate working under limitations um, rather than like the world is your oyster and you just kind of have to make your own fun. Um, you know, I like to kind of overcome some of these challenges. So we don't have a sideways decoupler, we just have this. So we can just do another thing like that. Uh, what's our vessel size? Like, uh, what, what are our limitations right now? Hard to tell. Oh, we, I guess we can find out here. So are we overweight yet? Is that the price for the vehicle? Or is that how much money we have? I think this is how much money it's, it costs and that's how much money it's, it's going to, uh, that's how much money we have. So we have 170,000. It's not gonna cost too much. I am worried about weight, but I'm pretty sure it would tell me if uh, we were overweight. So this bottom layer, we could do something like this. Put all of these on the same layer, decoupler. Um, let's put this decoupler and um, engine on the same one and then have that. And we should be, this should take us pretty high. We're, we're getting, we have what, like 1900 Delta V in total should be pretty good this should be a, enough to get us like like pretty far up there at least seven thousand meters and we should check our missions what are our missions <laughs> what button are our missions um okay these are we don't have to look at these delete all messages sure here are our missions we have to deploy the parachute at four thousand to eight thousand meters we could do that, although this parachute seems to have some pretty harsh limitations. Do we have a different parachute, I'm wondering? Nope, that's the one. Mark 16. So the only thing I'm worried is that it wants us to do it 4,000, 8,000, 130 millimeters per second. That's the part that's going to be difficult for us to control. What we could do is we could limit the thrust on these. I think this will do all of them. No, it won't do all of them. If I do this one, will it do all of them? Yes, okay. Well, it'll do, it does all of the ones that are uh, duplicated. So we could limit our thrust a little bit and then um, we could put basically another parachute on Uh, let's create another stage here so that way we can we can uh, launch the, we can activate these parachutes and hopefully we're not traveling so quick that um, you know we'll be past our 300 meters per second or 130 meters per second the decoupler shouldn't be as difficult because that one basically has no speed limitations I mean it does but we should I don't even know if we have enough Delta V to reach that that's not how that works, by the way. <laughs> I, know, I know that's not how that works. All right. Let's get those uh, missions pinned. I'm gonna do the, the parachute 4,000 meters and we have to make sure we're within the speed limitations. At the very least, we could like um, kind of jettison the rest of our engine and fuel and then try and make our like apex in that range. All right, let's, let's see how far we get here. So we're already shot past our, our goal, but it's okay, because we have to get up to 4,000 meters. Well, that didn't work. So I, we, we want to do our decouple. 
Except we're not going to reach um, 1920 meters per second. So we can't, ironically, it's the decouple one that's not going to go well. Um, so we'll focus on doing the uh, parachute. I will keep an eye. If we reach these speeds, bef like when we're in within that goal, um, then at least I know I could have done it on the way down. Yeah, we're getting quite up here. We could do a science. Nice, some some good science. I should have uh, researched some stuff. I for I kind of forgot. Do we actually have a? We can actually see the goo now. I think that's part of that mod I installed, the restock. We can't, I can't warp. Let's do another goo, because I think we're in the first stage of, the, yeah, that's some more science, I'm pretty sure. Might not be. We'll keep it just in case. Okay, so we got to keep an eye on uh, below 11,000 meters. I'm a little bit worried that we're going to be traveling too quickly for the parachute. So in which case, this whole mission is going to be completely destroyed. Okay, it turns out we're gonna complete neither of these missions. That's fine. We'll we'll have to focus on uh, science. Let's do that parachute and then uh, and call it. I have a funny feeling that the volumetric. I'm supposed to have volumetric clouds. I'm not sure if those are that. Might have to look into that. We can get another uh, EVA report in the water. All right, board, recover vessel, that's something. So obviously we need a bit more power, is my thought. Um, let's do some research. Do our basic research. We could do a droned mission. Oh, hey, we do get liquid fuel. And we get a better, a better solid engine. So we could, could do that. Um, better survivability, that would be nice. Yeah, we've already got enough science to get some of the necessaries. Stability, I, I don't know if we need it. Uh, radial decouplers are, are really nice, actually, so we should get that as well. Okay, we're good. Probably the next thing we're going to want is basic science, so that we can get more science quicker. All right, let's um, let's rebuild. I'll uh, I'll 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 save you the uh, the editing sequence here. <laughs> All right, this could work. Might actually let's uh yeah let's get some of those. Oh, I, that that's put that puts me just over the limit. So let's just have one of these. All right, that's just barely enough. We do have drones now. 
do do we not have drones? We don't have drones, never mind. Variants available six. There are variants of these? I didn't know that. Um let me see if I can't find that. Uh let me zoom down. Oh there we go. Can we do what what's what is a variant? Oh I see. It just Oh okay. Oh that's kinda cool. Oh, there's some really neat looking ones. The the parts do look nice, I gotta say. Yeah, I mean that looks nice. Let's let's go with that. Do these have variants as well? They do. Okay, let's let's go with this. So now that we're using liquid fuel, we can we have a bit more control over our thrust. Um, it's still going to be tricky. We have to plan. We have to time this just right so that uh, we decouple exactly seven thousand to eleven thousand. It's a bit of a hard target to to hit when you're um, like going very quick. And we ha we are going to be ha, that's such a small like target to hit nineteen twenty to 1940 there's a 20 meters per second like um distance there or like difference so it's it's gonna be it's gonna be really difficult um is it t yeah it is t for sas okay let's let's give this a go No, uh-oh. That's not right. There you go, that's better. We've already shot past. Um, yeah, I think this, is, this isn't gonna work either. So uh, this is another science mission, I think. We need we meet we need more thrust. We need some more acceleration. Yeah, that's that's not it. We should um be we should get out of the atmosphere at the very least. So we should we we can get some more science. Yeah, and we could even risk doing an EVA. It's a little bit scary. Oh, we can't do astronaut complex upgrade required. Okay, we don't have the suit for it yet. Well, we are officially out of the uh Oh, that's that looks nice. We are out of the atmosphere. The music just stops. <laughs> Shepard die. Will never not be funny. Oh yeah, we can do the uh, interior overlay. That looks so cool. We can see what he, you know, how he's like crammed in there. I was I was watching the speed there. We didn't we didn't hit it unfortunately. We didn't hit both targets. Yeah, this is the problem with taking those kind of missions. We could just like abort them, but then we do lose quite a lot of points for that. Um I don't know, do we get any signs for this? Some almost one point, <laughs> may as well. Do we have enough for anything? We have enough for general rocketry. I think that will give us a bigger um, engine, which would be nice. Oh, and uh, some big uh, boosters. 
We don't actually have the um, the launch pad available to us yet. How does one, okay, a right click. We could upgrade the launch pad. We should probably do that. We can do a service bay now. That means we don't have to have this goofy thing uh, anymore. Do we have, oh, we have more science. Oh, okay. Nice. All right, just just barely falling within the bounds of acceptability. This is uh, this is probably going to be very bad. Um, I think our staging is correct. All right. We'll give we'll give this a go. So, the plan is, uh, I want to get at least the decoupler mission. So, I'm going to uh, attempt to. Uh, we're going to fly to um, seven thousand meters, and then I'm just going to turn sideways, and that should be like good enough. Like as soon as we hit that speed, I'm going to hit the decoupler. Our course, our next um, staging is not the decoupler. It's in fact the, the sideways decoupler. So we, we're gonna have to hit the button a few times. Uh, so this is probably not how we wanna do this, but. I'm also gonna start turning like sooner than later. So as soon as we hit like say 8,000 meters, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn us sideways. I'm gonna start turning us now, honestly. Okay, we're at, we're at the right one, so we, we just want to go sideways. So I'm, I'm turning us. Oh, we've, we've already overshot a little bit. It's okay. Oof. Bit messy. Okay, this is fine. Salvageable. We're still not going to hit our speed. That's ridiculous. We're going to lose some speed. So I should just um, let it let it go for a little bit. This is a difficult mission. I did not expect this mission to be so difficult. Okay, we're actually speeding up. We're not in the uh, atmosphere yet though. So the atmosphere is probably going to slow us down quite a bit. So I shouldn't um, plan to like slow us down. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well, that was, uh, yeah, we, we, wow. Wow. That was, uh, unexpected, to be honest. You know what? Let's try it one more time, and I'm just gonna start tilting, like, right away. Because we hit the speeds we need. We just didn't. Yeah, we just didn't uh, hit the, the, you know, altitude. Okay. Revert, revert to launch. We can do this. I know we can. Uh, all right, so that wasn't, that wasn't great. Whoa, no. No, 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 wrong direction, you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. This is why people don't take these missions. <laughs> this is why I don't take these missions. I wonder why that's happening. That's really annoying. Okay. Um, new plan. I need to... Hmm. Okay, okay, oh wait. I got it, I got it. Uh, revert flight... We're going to uh, we're going to change the design just just slightly. All right, this maybe maybe we have a bit more clearance this time. And we won't lose our second stage. Uh oh, uh oh, oh it's dancing. It, yo, it's da <laughs> oh it's dancing though. It was it was doing a funny dance.
Okay, okay, new plan. New plan. Um, these missions are bad. That's the plan. The plan is to quit. We're quitting both of these missions. Cancel contract. Cancel contract. We take a hit on money and reputation there. I don't care. That's fine. We probably just want to do uh, Orbit Kerbin. Because like, I feel like we could do that at this point. Alright. So we're just going straight up. Nothing fancy. We are going to have to do a turn. Um, probably around seven to, 70 to 80,000 meters up. If we want to get into a like a, a an orbit there's like an exact number like exact uh altitude where you want to start turning honestly we could probably start turning now and that would be acceptable oh well that's that's that was really bad okay these um these boosters are are not working out for us for a variety of reasons Mostly because we don't have a good decoupler right now. It, it doesn't separate far enough. I've got a really stupid idea. Really, really stupid. Let's see if, let's see if we can make this work for us. Do you see what I'm going for here, right? Like, this is dumb. This is probably not going to work. But uh, if it did work, then these rockets would at least fly away from our, our main main boy here. Do you think this will work? Probably not. I mean, that it's already working more than I thought it would. Kind of incredible, honestly. I'm also not gonna worry about going sideways or turning at all. Hey. And we're just gonna like immediately go sideways. Okay, is this? I don't know if this is enough. Should be. Yeah, we're we're out. Okay, so I probably there was probably a pretty inefficient burn, but that's fine. So once we're here, close to closer to here, then we're gonna wanna. I like we could start burning now, but I don't know if that's as efficient. But we can do we can do burn. Like we're out of the atmosphere here, so I think like basically our thrust it transfers directly to our delta v uh, and we're not fighting the atmosphere anymore i just don't know if we have enough fuel is the thing to get our kerbal back all right so we barely didn't have enough fuel unless i just did it really inefficiently i mean i did do it inefficiently we might have been able to to make it uh, certainly if I was able to turn the vessel around kind of want to let's let's try this one more time because I feel like this is this is gonna work I just need to be a bit more efficient about my fuel usage. We're gonna start turning I know I said I wasn't going to but I think our new design will allow Allow for this Probably this second stage is actually not very helpful Like we could probably just make this one stage That would save some um I would save on some uh, on some weight, and also you know just make the whole thing more efficient. Mm, okay, let's let's tweak this a little bit. I mean, if you're gonna go, you should go big, you know. Uh, I mean, that's a probably a, a, another good point. Is I I didn't have my uh, second stage on the same stage as decoupling, so. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It's, a, it's a wobbly boy. <laughs> He's wobbling. He do be wobbling, though. Um, yeah, we didn't. I didn't have the the our staging correct, so it might have been that the reason we were colliding with our previous stages because we weren't like accelerating away from it. I think this will work. We probably have a lot more drag with this design. Yeah, that worked a lot better. This uh, this engine is not very powerful, but it is efficient which is why i went with this one and not the the bigger one i think we will make it high enough so now i can cut our engine you know if we had enough thrust i could cut it sooner just so it like as long as i know we're out of the atmosphere and then we can 
turn this into an elliptical, or, or sorry, not a, just a, just an orbit. I'm gonna probably get some of my terms and phrasing incorrect, but you know, I think you know what I mean. Okay, so as soon as we're, I would say high enough, I'm gonna I'm gonna gun it. Okay, so we're just we're just firing sideways. There we go. Nice. Okay, so now we just have to orbit. And we'll, we will have achieved that goal. We should also, we can't do an EVA still, um, but we can do some, probably some science. Crew report, there we go. So we did get some science. I, I, I forgot to do crew reports. I did rep crew reports from EVA, but you can do them from within the cockpit as well. Are we close enough here that we're in the atmosphere? Mm, not quite, but it's close enough to pull us out of the uh, time lapse. We're not losing, I don't think we're losing speed is the important part. If you dip into the atmosphere even a little bit, you'll, you'll uh, lose some speed. Have we not orbited Kerbin? Do I have to make my uh, orbit a bit bigger, maybe? All right, let's let's uh, let's make it a bit bigger, I guess. Maybe it doesn't count because this is too low. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we're just gonna reverse a little bit. We wanna land in the ocean if we can. Not that I have all that much control. I mean, I do have control, but it is a small target we're aiming for. Okay, that should be enough. There's a good chance that we will burn up an entry. Oh, no, 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 no. That was cutting it close. I should have uh, jettisoned the second stage also. We're, we're gonna be really close to the water. No, uh, no. <laughs> oh my God. How do we account for, when we need, uh, we need better parachutes is what we need. That's what we need. <clears throat> and also probably some heat shielding, which we do have. So I, I should have just put that, slapped that on there. So I had to do a little bit of research. Turns out um, I, I'm doing, I'm thinking about things in maybe a, a little bit of an ignorant light. So this, this uh, engine here, I think is just like not good. Um, it, I think it has pretty good maneuverability, but it doesn't have very good ISP. I had to look up what that meant. Is low ISP good or is high ISP good? It seems to me that high ISP is always good. The higher ISP you have, basically the more efficient the engine. Um, so you can see like this guy here, has a very high ISP, 330. Uh, you can see there on the right there under engine, um, engine ISP, 150 ASL, 330 vacuum. That means that in the atmosphere, it's 150 ASL, or sorry, 150 ISP, which is not great compared to basically any of the other engines. That's because this one is meant for probes and anything that's already in space, right? This guy here has 250 ISP, in the atmosphere or 320 in the vacuum. So it's actually good for both. Um, the benefit to something like this guy is that uh, it's much, much lighter, like several times lighter than, than this. So, you know, and this also is lighter. So like this, this guy that I've been using is about half the weight. So there is benefit to it. Um, but overall, we're gonna get more bang for a buck for this, with, with this uh, engine. Um, I am still, I think, I think pointing those uh, in was actually a good idea. I think that did actually work out for us. It's a little bit goofy, but I, I kind of like it. I kind of dig it. Um, we also have some heat plating on our probe and we also have a heat plate on the bottom of it. So that should work out. I'd like to think that, you know, like I'm not amazing at this game. I'd like to think that there will be entertainment value in this series in my learning uh, through it. Like if 
if you're a, a huge expert on Kerbal, you're probably not going to get much out of this series. Although maybe you will delight in some of the mistakes that I make. And of course, you know, there's always value in like throwing a helpful tip here and there in the comments, right? Um, j fair warning, a lot of the rocket science is going to go super above my head. Um, so, uh, you know, pretend I am a big, simple child with a simple brain um but you know uh keep, keep it keep it respectful <laughs> you know um are we using our liquid fuel right away that's not correct we I, I got my staging wrong okay there we go much better i'm going to turn us a little bit not too much just enough to keep the rocket basically in the direction that we want and then I think once we get to around like, I don't know, 7,000 to 12,000 feet, um, I will start turning us a bit more aggressively. Okay, so we should start turning. Might be already, I wouldn't say too late, but like, I, I later I can tell how high this is by hovering over it. And anything above 70,000 meters is I believe atmosphere. Or sorry, out of the atmosphere. So I'm gonna kill it for now, because um, we don't want to burn in the atmosphere if we can help it. But as soon as we're out of the atmosphere, I am going to start burning. Technically, still in the atmosphere. Okay, we're out of the atmosphere now, so we can start burning. Whale sounds. I was talking to my to a friend of mine. I am looking forward to Kerbal too. I hope it is a bit more accessible, not just for my own sake, but you know. <laughs> um, but uh, something I, I, I've been really impressed with, with uh, some of the dev videos, the trailer, um, is I've been really appreciating some of the music that they've uh, been maybe showing off. Who can say if it is part of the final game or not? I kind of hope some of it is because I will say I, I'm not a huge fan of the music in Kerbal. It doesn't really inspire me. <laughs> I think because it is so like on the nose inspirational music, it just comes across to me as being very cheesy. You can hate me for that. That's my, my spicy Kerbal take, but it irks me every time I play this game. All right, so once we're closer to like, I can't remember if it's apoapsis or periapsis. I think periapsis is when you're at the closest towards the planet. I can't remember what the the actual, like like these words actually mean. I just sort of have a vague idea of their concepts. There we go. We've completed the mission. Um, so what I will do is I'm actually, I'm gonna get to the other side of my orbit and then try and land us closer to the station. Not for any reason other than novelty, to be honest. Although we don't really have a lot of fuel. So it might be smarter to just um, burn at our apoapsis so that we can get our uh, we can get into the atmosphere as quickly as possible. Let's be smart. Let's not do anything gimmicky. Wait, that's that's that is prograde, not retrograde. Oops. I was making my orbit bigger. I want to make it smaller. No, come on. Oh, also, I should do a crew report in an actual space. That should be enough. Like, that is enough that we'll, we will slow down. Um, I don't really want to land in the on the dark side of Kerbal, but looks like we're going to have to. I could try and, like, burn Prograde uh, a little bit closer in so that we... We uh, miss the, the, the land. But that'll increase our speed. And as much as we do have some protection from the heat, we don't have a lot. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not super excited about landing on, on this land here. So we're, gonna, we're in it for the long haul. I'm in it for the long haul. You're in it for the time lapse <laughs> that I'm going to create for you. You're welcome. We should be good. I wish we had some like flaps or something to slow down our speed a bit more. I don't, again, I don't like that we're landing 
both in the dark and on land is like the worst thing. At the very least, we have a couple of things here to break our fall. We should be fine. Uh, we'll do some more science. We do get a, a little bit of science from that. Oh, I, I put something on the hatch. Oh, that sucks. Oops. Okay, well, we did it though. We completed the mission. And that's probably going to do it for this pilot episode. Um, I'll get my rewards. I'll, I'll research a couple of things. And uh, we'll see We'll see how this goes. See if, uh, you know, how the reaction is to something like this. Oh, Jebediah leveled up. We can upgrade our tracking station. Oh, that's very expensive. Upgrading our vehicle assembly building would be nice. We should probably just do that, but that's a lot of money we're spending on that. It's probably worth it. We have the Science Junior. We got a lot more science on these ones, and we can do start maybe doing satellites. Uh, we can't really do satellites until we have solar, though. And then after that, what are we looking at? When do we get to uh, solar? Electrics, maybe. That's a lot of science we need to get there. That's okay. We're going to have plenty of opportunities to get the other science that I missed. Um, we will consider some new missions. Explore the moon. Wow, they really uh, go for it right away. Making that the next mission is kind of like, kind of insane to me. Um, I would like to do satellites if we can. If you've enjoyed this uh, episode, um, you know, thanks for watching, honestly. And I would say definitely hit that like button. <laughs> and consider subscribing. I, I know this is going to be a weird one for, for basically everyone, both Kerbal fans and, and uh, you know, not. But, um, you know, weird one for my channel. Uh, weird one, like, I think a lot of people tend to avoid the career mode. It's something I enjoy, but I've made it work for me over time. I do enjoy the constraints, and it does give me kind of a direction. Um, but the first you know, bunch of missions that they offer you are, are, are a slog, I will admit. Um, once we start getting satellite missions, that'll give me something more to do. And, um, we can start looking at doing more of more ambitious things like create space stations and stuff like that. That is if this series, um, takes off. If, if this isn't something that people want, then I, you know, that's, that's okay. I won't do more of that. Maybe it's something I can do for streams instead. Um, but in any case, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.